Hi everyone and welcome back to Faith and Flower. If you're new here, my name is Robin and today's video is an all day speed cleaning video. So if you need some cleaning motivation, then this video is for you. My day of cleaning almost always starts in our bedroom with making our bed. And once I've cleared all the pillows off this chair in the corner, I sit down and do my daily Bible reading. I love to start my day like this, and I like reading through the Bible in a year. I've done that for several years, and I like the chronological format, which just means that all the events in the Bible are arranged in the order that they actually happen. And so it gives a really good big picture of the story of the Bible. This year I'm using the Bible Recap app. It's a free app that you can find, and I will have a link for it in the description box below in case you're interested. If I have laundry to do, I like to get it done first thing in the morning. I'm getting a little bit of a late start today, but it's better to go ahead and get it in so it can be doing its thing. And that frees me up to get other things done and check in on it periodically when I need to change loads or take things out and fold them. For those of you that are newer to my channel, you might not be familiar with my weekly cleaning routine, but I try to stick to doing laundry just two days a week. And if you'd like to know more about that, I'll have that video down in the description box. Make sure you watch it. And then for our laundry, we all sort our own clothes. And then I try to run about four different wash loads. So I'll have one for hot water, one for warm water, one for cold water, and then another one with delicate items. The first three go into the sorter that I have on the right, and then all of the delicate items are usually mine, and I pile them up here on top of the washing machine until I'm ready to put those in. Just as I was finishing the laundry, a package arrived from eCloth, and that is like Christmas morning for me. I know it's weird, and I posted it on Instagram, so if you guys follow me there, you probably already saw my post. There are some old favorites in here, like the scrubby sponges for doing dishes. I absolutely love those, and the dish towel as well. Nothing beats that for drying dishes. And there are a couple of new things in here, so I'm going to go ahead and put those to work today, and I'll let you know what I think. Once I got the clothes washing, I headed back to the bedroom to get started back here, and our closet needs to be dusted really badly. I've neglected this for a while now, and especially around the tops, I need to get that done. So I wanted to try out this dusting wand, and its actual purpose is not this, but I just wanted to see how well it would work. I usually use my extendable duster. You guys have probably seen me use that a hundred times, and I actually think that that is better suited for this job. But the pad on here is washable. You can take it off, put it in the washing machine, and it's really fluffy and it does capture quite a bit of the dust. But to me, it's still not quite as good as that extendable duster, so I'll probably be going back to using that for things like this. With that said, don't write off this cleaning and dusting wand just yet because I'm going to show you how to use it for its intended purpose later in the video. where I keep my handbags when I'm not using them and I like to take care of them so I keep them in the dust bags that they came with. This is a great way to maintain them. It keeps them free of dust. It protects them from light. And so they will last longer, look better longer, and serve you longer if you do that. If you don't have a specific dust bag that came with your purse, a pillowcase works great. I highly recommend it. Even though 
this cleaning and dusting wand doesn't work as well in the closet as my extendable duster, here's what it's great for. Getting under appliances, those areas that are really hard to reach, it grabs everything and so you can vacuum it off and if it's really dirty, you can take the sleeve right off, toss it in the wash and it comes out good as new. Because it's so thin, it can get into the narrowest of places and I can't wait to get under some other appliances around here. In addition to the more deep cleaning that I plan for doing around the house today, there's always things that have to be done in the kitchen, like unloading the dishwasher, cleaning the things that don't go in the dishwasher, drying dishes, and just generally tidying up. There's one thing I want to add to my list before I leave the kitchen, and that is quickly cleaning a couple of the windows here. This one that leads out to the patio is constantly dirty because of our dog Austin and his nose prints. This is such an easy job, I don't know why I tend to procrastinate with it. It just takes a couple of minutes. I use an e-cloth that is dampened with just water to clean the windows, and then I follow it with their window polishing cloth to dry it to a streak-free shine. These work amazing. There's no extra product needed, and like I said, it only takes a minute. You guys know how much I love all of eCloth's cleaning products. I use them all over our home. They are my favorite tools. And if you are not familiar with them, definitely check out my link in the description box and head over to their website and see what they have in store. You can also learn about microfiber and how it works. It captures 99% of dirt and bacteria, so all you need is water to clean your home. And so if you're looking for a more natural way to clean your home, to eliminate the chemicals in your home and also save a lot of money, they are a great way to go. Need to do is clean our bathroom countertops. They're made of granite and so I wanted to try out the new granite cleaning cloth. It also comes with a window polishing cloth and you can use that to buff your granite if you have a polished granite surface. Ours is honed so I'm not going to use it for that but I love using those for buffing the fixtures after I've cleaned them and they get a beautiful streak free shine when you use that so I will put it to use in here for that today. As a general rule, I really like to clean from the top down, so I'm gonna start with the mirrors, and you can use the e-cloth damp, just like I did on the windows, to clean the mirrors, and then buff it or dry it with the window polishing cloth. 
I'm using the one that's specified for granite, but honestly, I use the general purpose cleaning cloths for everything. And I think if you just want to invest in a few, that's where I would go. If you like their specific sets, they have ones for different appliances, they have a shower set, they have this granite set, and so it's whatever you prefer. Because I already had the ladder in here from when I was dusting in the closet, I thought I'd hit the high spots of the mirror and the light fixtures while I'm in here as well. I generally only do that when I'm doing a more deep clean on a regular weekly basis when I'm cleaning the bathroom. I just hit the spots that I can reach because those are the areas that really get dirty. But it does get dusty up there, so it needs to be done once in a while, so today I'm going to be more thorough. giving my microfiber cloth a good rinse, I'm going to use it to clean the countertops and the sink. I would say that this is probably a little bit more absorbent than the general purpose cleaning cloth, but both work equally as well in my opinion. So if you like the set and maybe you want to keep that in the bathroom, it might be the way to go. Otherwise, if you just want to have a few, I would stick with the general purpose cloth and a window polishing cloth and that will get you really far all over your house on a ton of different surfaces. Tub, I'm going to try out a new mixture that I discovered recently. This is basically just 50% dishwashing liquid and 50% vinegar. So I found this because I was searching for something to clean the grout in our shower and Miracle Shower Spray or Miracle Shower Cleaner kept popping up all over YouTube and Pinterest. I think it was hugely popular a couple years back and the original recipe called for Dawn Blue Dishwashing Liquid. I didn't have that on hand so I use Method and this works really well. It does a great job on our acrylic tub removing soap scum and any other buildup and it seems to be very safe for the surface. I checked on that ahead of time and in our shower it also is great on tile. It busts through any buildup that you have from hard water or soap scum anything like that. So if you're looking for a good DIY formula I can recommend this one. Yes, you saw it. I knocked over my body wash two times. Just keeping it real and honest here.
all that's left is to clean the bathroom floor, so I'm going to start with vacuuming and finish up with mopping. My mom taught me when I was little to pick up everything off the floor before you start cleaning it, and it makes a huge difference. It saves you so much time from having to move things from place to place, so give it a try and you can thank my mom later. Our closet is right off of the bathroom, so while I have the vacuum out, I'm going to sweep up any dust that I knock down before I put it away. And to mop, of course, I'm using my e-cloth mop with a microfiber pad and just water to clean our floors. I know a lot of people are skeptical that water would do a great job, but combined with the microfiber, trust me, it works. <laughs> first load of laundry is ready from the dryer just in time for me to take a little break. I always love having the excuse to sit down and fold clothes while catching up on my favorite YouTube videos or some television show or another. A lot of our clothes I prefer to hang rather than fold, especially our shirts. So some of them I will pull out of the washing machine and hang to dry, but most I will put into the dryer for about 10 minutes. This is a great way to let the dryer release a lot of the wrinkles, and when you pull them out after that, they're still damp, but they dry quickly, and because they're already on the hanger, they just go straight from the laundry room to the closet. Now for our master bedroom. And again, I'm starting from the top down with our fan. And this time I've switched over to the extendable duster that I was talking about before. This is really my favorite dusting tool from eCloth. And you can see how you can extend it really high to reach the fan so that I don't need to use a ladder. And it's very fluffy, it captures all of the dust. And when it gets sort of full, I can take it and use my vacuum to clean it off and continue dusting. And then when I'm finished for the day, I can throw it in the wash along with my other e-cloths. I also love that the duster can be detached from the handle, so it's easier to use on things like blinds and other surfaces where you don't have to reach. get lots of questions about my vacuum. This canister vacuum that I'm using today is my Miele vacuum and it is my all-time favorite. Nothing beats it. It's quite an investment. It's very pricey, but it will serve you for a lifetime. They are amazing. So if you are in the market for one and you want a recommendation, I highly recommend this one and you can find a link for it in my Amazon store and you'll find the link for my Amazon store in the description box.
That's it for my day of cleaning and I'm happy to have an iced tea break. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching today. I always love spending time with you. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to give me a thumbs up. It really does help out my channel. And if you're new here, I want to invite you to subscribe. It would be great to have you join our Faith and Flower community. Thank you guys so much. I look forward to talking with you in the comments and I'll see you in the next video. Have a wonderful week.